All right, welcome, pal, to I want to look at all of my decks. It's not all of them, but the oracles that I've channeled. And I want to see if I can put together a st storyline and see if I can see general, consciously or unconsciously, what you might be going through, okay? Please let me know. I like to have fun. I like to test myself. I am not a psychic. I am a seer and an intuitive reader, right? So I just want to see if I can put a storyline together with these. Help me get out of self. Help me get out of ego. Help me provide love encouragement and support for people who chose to all right for this barn and what is going on one more mm. gotta shuffle betty and friends look like you might desire some intimacy fred fred ain't none of her husband you messing with somebody in the world anymore i hear him say one more maybe two this one what in the hell is going on tweety bird tweety bird for two tommy you got some nice little cartoon characters here let's pull these what's going on somebody got their back to, to to you oh you might be in no contact with somebody uh, why do I feel like you taken? Why do I feel <laughs> Tweety Bird? Oh, okay. Read this. Look at this, Terry. Look at this. What do you see? I, feel, I see somebody else's wife, and this is somebody else's husband. You, somebody could be liking you, crushing on you, and you are no contact with them, or and you feel guilty because you're married. I feel like this person is very nice, very loyal. They could have been hurt, been broken, been a divorcee, or been in some kind of commitment. Stewie, look at Stewie. Somebody got some big eyes, big eyes, big eyes. That tells me that somebody knows what's going on. Um, maybe you got some karmics. Maybe you like to perform. Somebody's very, very sweet. You think this man or woman is very, very sweet. Okay. Maybe they give you intimacy. Maybe you desire intimacy and you already in a relationship. You don't want to mess with this person, but you do. You already, you, maybe you've already cheated and stuff you know what I just came you know why i say that because stewie stewie's you know stewie's very slick manipulative and cunning this is nothing new to you but this person i feel like this person might have your heart why am i just getting that okay okay that's fine any more let me get one more so i can get one more i could be wrong y'all what's going on with y'all crossroads uh, somebody got your attention Somebody got your attention. Da -da -da. <laughs> Tom Pickles going like, oh, somebody got your attention. Huh? They're very playful, very fun. They could dress up as cosplay. They're kind of animated. They're not kid-like, but they're fun men and women. They're not as serious. I could be wrong. Wonka bar. I'm going to give you one more chocolate. This reading going to be something because I think. Fred. Freddy's dead. Dun, dun, dun. I got you could have been drawn to one. Let's see, Betty, Betty. What's going on with Betty? Nobody pays attention to you. I feel like this man or woman that I feel like you're attracted to somebody, and I feel like people don't give them the attention that they deserve. I'm skimming this, right? I feel like they could be very talented. They could be seers, tarot card readers, psychics, entertainers, um, start their own job, work nine to five, could be kind of shy or something like that. Um, they could be very supportive to their family, their friends, their kids, something like that. Very caring, good natured um, people. Maybe you didn't think that this person or man was very smart. Um, because it says that Betty's not the smartest person, but I feel like people look, looking in, I feel like somebody's liking you, crushing on you, and they went through a lot. I feel like they went through a lot. This could be my inter, um, interracial, um, a pal, foster parents, fertility treatment, both child want more. They could be older, they maybe they don't have any children, maybe they do. Um, I just feel like this person, it's a lot of emotional cheating going on in my past. I don't know. Maybe it's just the, the senses of people that I have. It's a lot of emotional cheating going on. And I feel like Betty and Fred got a thing going on. <laughs> I think that if you haven't met this man or woman yet, it's definitely telepathic. I feel like they both feel guilty because she looks like she's crying. And Fred's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? You have to change the gender, right? But I feel like somewhere... 
there's something going on with you and somebody else. Now, I could be wrong, right? I'm just having fun. Big bank, real deal, ambitious, money maker, big penis, big talker, show, show and prove, average looking, extremely handsome, big fish, women throw their coochies at him, cheater, side chick, spoiled wife, could travel, big spender, temperamental, aggressive, loud mouth, scammer, get money. Okay, so you know what I feel? I feel like this is you, drug dealer, opportunist, Ponzi screams, can't handle word no failure Sur suburb suburban living condo maybe own a house or apartment take no shit gun carrier i feel like this is you as a man and woman i feel like you're very very attractive men and women i'm seeing um, just kind of i feel like you're very attractive men and women you're very ambitious you could be opportunist i feel like men and women do like you i feel like at one time you could have dealt with some temperament some kind of um psychological and emotional issues i am seeing bipolar you could have been loud and aggressive at one time i do feel like you change i feel like your pockets are very very deep i feel like you have a lot of connections to people that people wouldn't even realize i feel like you meet people and been privy to people that most people haven't i feel like you could have met um betty or this person online um and i feel like they weren't your type i feel like you have a preference but i also feel like you have a husband or wife 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 husband husband alien alien right um i feel like but some for some reason you got a connection and i feel like because um betty is married i feel like it's forbidden fruit so i feel like you and this person are different doesn't mean that this man or woman is married they could be attached or in a relationship they could just be very single and you got a connection with this person now i could be wrong and this is where i'm gonna need somebody to tell me something right stewie oh my god screaming mommy daddy issues suffered extreme moderate neglect i don't feel like betty has mommy daddy issues i feel like um fred does and i feel that's why he has his back turned because i feel like betty can read fred i feel like the person that this i don't feel like being a tutor reader that your husband wife significant other common law husband wife partner whatever can read you like this betty i feel like you and betty got a deep connection telepathic this could be my twin flame pile don't ask me how i got that out of there because i don't know right but somebody got some mommy and daddy issues and i feel like it's more you people who chose this pile right um, I feel like you had, could have had an overbearing religious mother, father, absentee, dad, mother. But I feel like at one time, you could have been a highly um, manipulative, gaslighting, narcissistic tendencies, overachiever, or self-sabotage sabotage or hidden insecurities i feel like you could be in some kind of leadership um, position, entertainment, something like that, you know, um... You could have a hard time working for other people. So I'm seeing you do gigs, maybe, uh, you know, entrepreneur, supervisor, some kind of leaders. If you're selling incense, you're the man or woman to get. I feel like you're very brilliant, very smart, super smart. You could have, your model could be, I'm born in this family, but I don't, I didn't pick this family. You could be very sophisticated. You could be psychic. You have your third eye open. Psychics don't mean that, you know, I'm going around saying I'm psychic, but you could have dreams and visions. You feel shit. King intuition. I feel like you really, really unveil bullshit. You could love football. And I feel like you have a high king intuition. But I do feel like you have mommy daddy issues. I feel like if Betty had mommy daddy issues, um, Betty wasn't aware of it. But I feel like Betty did her healing because she has her hand on her, her, her hips going, I realized I had some issues of dysfunction coming up, right? And I worked on mine. Because isn't that how she looked? Like, I worked on mine. But I can call you out, Fred. And I feel like, I feel like you fell in love with somebody that can call you out, that can see through you. Betty is giving me... Um, Oh my God, is that what y'all want me to say? Betty's giving me high priestess vibes. So she could be, you could be in love with somebody totally different from you. It could be psychic, a tarot card reader. You know, we always use it from examples, right? Or just somebody different, somebody atheist and you're Christian, like that. I feel like there's some differences here. But I do feel like, even though your back is turned on Betty, I feel like you have some kind of telepathic connection. And I feel like Fred has definitely worked a lot on his healing. Let's see what Tweety Bird, I don't even remember doing Tweety Bird talking about channeling it in my tweety bird cute y'all can y'all see my thing um tweety bird is cute i feel like this man or woman is very very seductive why am i giving y'all emotional cheating no contact met somebody online i could be wrong met them at work i feel a lot of emotional cheating in this pile i feel like some y'all somebody got somebody or maybe the person got somebody maybe i'm channeling that person maybe the person is big pockets you know or he or she is some 
all about something and they have the mommy dad issues but somebody got some mom dad issues somebody um um you know had a very neglectful um childhood i do i see that let me see tweety bird somebody got some beautiful eyes all these beautiful eyes i feel like they unveil shit and they peep shit out either it's you both of y'all or betty why am i giving you a relationship with betty because i feel like you have somebody hidden right nobody would never suspect fred and betty got this connection shy de demeanor watch your surroundings listen first closely you're liable to be someone where no one thought you would be um you're slick you're cunning i wouldn't fuck with you um you get the last laugh angels spiritual guys watch over you yes i feel like the person that you like, people overlook. Didn't I Betty was overlooked, whatever, this man or woman. And they are they could be somewhere you're not. So you could have underestimated this man or woman. You could have picked somebody else over them. And this person has out surpassed you, right? So if you're meeting people where people are not privy, this person be like oh you didn't know who i was i know that sounds stupid but that's what i'm channeling right because it says they, they could be places that you don't think right and i feel like betty i keep calling this person betty right Sim symbolism right this man or woman you do not fuck with them i feel like you could have overlooked them and they have some spiritual guys ancients ancestors you know grandmothers grandfathers mother fathers who passed away so watch over them and i feel like you see that now. I feel like you may you could be facing a lot of tower moments because I don't know if you physically or mentally or verbally did something to this person. You could have just been cold or breadcrumb them, but they're getting a laugh laugh, and I feel like you could have hurt their feelings. What am I talking about? This person will verbally annihilate their opponent. Maybe you feel like you big, big pimping men and women. You didn't feel like you can meet your match. And Betty's so quiet and humble. And you found out this man or woman is your is your match. I'm feeling twin flame all over this. This person could never say a word. I feel like they, they don't show improve. They don't have to show improve. They just, you know, show and tell is their model. They don't need to prove. They don't need to prove shit. They could love to kiss. They, this person could love to kiss. Why do I feel like you haven't kissed this person yet? You might have. And they're the hugger type. Yeah. You wouldn't feel all that with um, Betty. I get it. I feel like this man or woman looking in, you really underestimated who they really were. Maybe you didn't even realize that Betty had the psychic abilities and the king intuition and third eye open. Yeah. I'm, I feel like you guys are the Fred. I could be wrong, y'all. I could be just talking out of my neck going all over the place. But I do feel like they're very kind. They're very sweet. What's Tommy Pickle? Look at my Tommy Pickle's cute, y'all. <laughs> yeah, they can like to play. They can like to have fun. Da -da -da. <laughs> they can like to dress up in cause um, mode. They can be very, very creative. What did I write for Tommy Pickles? They can like pickles. They could have been had a lot of numerous pregnancies. They could have some kids. They could be very fun-like with their kids. Somebody's name could be Tommy. Somebody's name could be Fred. Somebody's name could be Betty Stewie. Let me see. This person is very fun, loving, happy, animated. People love being around this man or woman. Um, they're not uptight. They're explorers. They're very tolerant of others. That's like LGBTQ, different religious beliefs, um, uh, um, you know, political f f f affiliations, social, economic backgrounds. They love everybody. They break away from the norms. This person could be very unconventional and different from you. They have an unorthodox style. I always tell people the most unorthodox people our change agents so if you study history you'll find out you know oh this person cut their ear off this person did this or this person did that and they were very unorthodox but they were a change agent so these people that you could have overlooked change things they could be very good communicators right they can't be restrained um they could be very independent this man or woman could be divorced they require little to none affirmations like i feel like fred's wife wilma might and then betty maybe betty in the past had because you know she was with um barney so i feel like this man or woman you you're that that i feel like you have a connection with they could have had some bad relationships they could have had men and women who didn't live up to the level of the kind of man or woman they were and it was a vortex and it brought them down so i feel like betty experienced a lot of broken heart it's a lot a lot of psychological and emotional stuff but she got her shit together she really should be with fred right but fred got beautiful before me fred got beautiful wilma wilma is fine as hell so you could have very aesthetically handsome beautiful men and women trophy wise beauty's an eye beholder right you get what i'm saying but really this is the one this is the one that fred should be with and i feel like fred is seeing that now 
I don't know why I'm saying all this shit. Um, yeah. Where women, you gotta go shop, put her in a big house, tell her she's beautiful all the day. She probably has some insecurities. You, you get what I'm saying? That's what I'm channeling. I'm not trying to beat up on Wilma. I'm just doing a reading, right? So I feel like Fred is with his karma. He's not with his real, um, which you would be, you would be Fred, not your real twin flame. This person could be very humble, um, loves his or her freedom. They could be world leaders or leaders, and they plant seeds of success. They, you know how you can know this man or woman? Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a psychic, but th their children could be very successful, I say. You know, their adult children, their little children, like, you know, honor roll, um, boys and girls, something like that. I'm just something different, you know, play any musical instruments, grown children, successful. And they could have a lot of integrity. Pregnant, preg pregnant baby now. I don't know what that means. I, they could be very adventurous, but they had their share of controversy. So I feel like people talk about this man and woman that you overlook. Let's see. I got um, hand fasting um, cord twice. I got white and orange. You could look, I got orange here too. You might want to look up the color orange. Orange has been. It's an ancient tradition symbolizing binding two people together. Celtic religion, Wiccan pagan wedding, 7,000 BC, ancient Ireland, tying or not. You could be starting over a new relationship, a second chance to grow together and empowerment. Both support, both support one another to be independent, not codependent. You both value cooperation, competitiveness in your relationship. Didn't I say, now y'all might feel like I'm wrong, but it's lining up with my storyline. So that's good enough for me, whether nobody agree or not, because I'm just saying stuff. So I feel like if Benny and Fred got together, they would be that power team. I don't feel so much a power team. I'm not going to lie. I feel like a spiritual third eye, high vibrational, high five frequency because i feel like betty could be with um her husband and there could have been codependency and some hurt and some drug addiction alcohol some you know brokenness or whatever and fred could be codependent on his superficial materialistic egotistical type relationship but when they get together they're going to get rid of all that they're not going to be codependent of each other they're going to support each each other empower their self first empower each other very independent lives and they both is that both value cooperation right and i feel like that's you i feel like you met somebody else that you're in love with but i feel like you overlooked this man or woman let's we got a crossroads you gotta be kidding me let's see what this one is I don't know, y'all. Just seen hand fasting cord. I wanted to read what it was about, and it was about colors. So I said, "Oh, let me make the colors and write the definitions." And then I just kind of channeled some stuff. Um, let me see. Uh, type. The, you are very happy, go lucky, not I uptight, playful, cheerful, social butterfly. I feel like nice, kind, warm, empathetic, emotionally balanced, strong, endurance, resilient. Came out of a broken relationship excitement joy to be in a relationship with creative wise warm person nurturing the sexual the whole package i got faithful um this person went through betty went through a birth and a re in a, in a, a death and a rebirth right so bet so you know birth death rebirth right yeah so and a lotus flower so i feel like betty the, the man or woman you overlook you know a lotus flower it grows in all that nasty muck and stuff right but the flower is beautiful so i feel like you overlooked a man or woman who've been through hell and back right they had they share controversy is that what i said and they are really really good people and on their journey they already could have been already been at light but that light was covered through a lot of darkness but through that chaos and stuff i feel like this man and woman really grew and they healed and i feel like they're healers and i feel like fred has a connection with betty so you i feel like you y'all gonna let me know i could be wrong i feel like you're still with your karmic you fell in love with somebody that's totally different from you and this man or woman is totally different from what you're used to and they're very strong caring loving that component that you need i do i feel like i feel like they're very exciting now that doesn't mean that he doesn't get all that from um wilma you guys but this person is a totally different from what the um so i feel like this person that you fell in love with is what you need not what you want right what you need right and i feel like you balance each other why do i feel like this is a twin flame pal i can't make this shit up Let me just, in case y'all want to see the words and i feel like this person is very happy go lucky and definitely not uptight let's see crossroads and then we're about to end this I feel like you are at the crossroads. I feel like one minute you want to still live in the past, hang on to these uh, uh, old 
toxic people, places and things, belief systems. But then I feel like you're on this new wave thing, this enlightenment thing as men and women, this high vibrancy, this frequency. It's been around forever. You know how they call it new age. It's not new age. You know what I'm saying? But you're opening yourself up, right? So you're at the crossroads. You're at the crossroads. You couldn't know the direction you want to you go. And I feel like this person or your career, your job, your family, I do feel like it's love too. It could be all of above. It's life changing. And I feel like you have, have a lot of deep thought and you thought about the decisions that you're going to make as a man or woman that's going to be benefit you. And I feel like you are strong enough to make the decision. Some people will be hurt. So if you're going to get a divorce or separation or let go of the past or tell people to stay in their lane, something like that. I'm just trying to cover it. I feel like you realize life is too short to be unhappy. I feel like your ultimate goal is to have peace. And I feel like you experience a big breakthrough and a turning point in your life. You stop you stop thinking so much. You could be very cerebral, diplomatic type men and women. And now you're starting to follow your true heart's desire and passion. Um, I feel like you feel like you'd rather try than never try. Because I feel like you don't want to live for regrets. And I do feel like you regret that you didn't see Betty. Maybe you didn't see Betty and you went straight to Wilma. Symbolic, right? Because Wilma looked good, right? Okay. So you're at the crossroads. The people at the crossroads for a job, money, a new direction, cutting toxic places and things out. I feel like my energy is really strong. You are definitely halfway there. I feel like a lot of high vibration um, enlightenment type shit. My right foot is burning. It's going on. But you still got them ties to karmic people, places, and things that's still going to keep, there's a vortex going to hold you back, right? And I feel like you know that. Let's see what the Willy Wonka is. Look at that. You dream of real love. Fred, we know Fred is married. We know Betty is married, right? Symbolically, right? This, Betty could be single now. She could have got a divorce. Just making it up. It says you dream of real love. You could be extremely picky, um, celibate, want dating, courting, romance. Or the person that you're interested in, they could be abstinence, you know, celibate. You know, they date or something like that, celibate or something like that. And they could be extremely picky. They could be dreaming of real love. You could be dreaming of real love. Y'all have some kind of telepathic connection. You realize that you guys are connected. I don't gay y'all somebody, huh? Y'all probably done exited out a long time ago. But that's what I'm feeling. This feels like a twin flame pal to me. Um, you could daydream a lot. This person could daydream a lot more than the average person. I feel like you and this person is extremely multi-talented. Look, could be a psychic or a seer, a seer or very creative. So the person that you like, they could be a psychic, a seer, tarot card reader, very creative. Or you could be that or you could be very creative. This person could like making love on the beach or maybe you fantasize making love on the beach with um with, um with uh, Betty. Betty could be anybody, y'all. I'm just using it symbolic. Or in a hotel room. You know, why do I feel like you want to get in contact with this person? I feel like you and this person will enjoy a lot of different outdoor activities. I got sightseeing, road trips, travel, grab a bite to eat. Um, I feel like this person loves food or maybe you love food. I feel like one is self-conscious, one isn't. I don't know because I feel like you guys are different. I could be wrong. And I feel like you like the original Wonka movie. So that tells me I feel like you guys are more... Um, if you like the original Wonka movie, y'all both are working on more being authentic, your true authentic self has nothing to do with the movie, right? You you want to be the, the the best man and woman that you could be. You don't want to put on personas. And I feel like one is a little bit more progressive than the other. Like Betty, because I'm really challenging Betty is like, I'm more, authentic, I'm more authentic and I've done my healing. But Betty had her share of pain and hurt, right? Right. And trauma. And Fred is like, eh, I turn my back to it. I really don't want to face it. Betty's back there. I know I'm feeling the kind of way about him or her. You get what I'm saying, <laughs> right? But I am working. I am working on it. And I'm, I'm aware that she's there, right? Or the healing needs to be done or dealing with the trauma or cutting toxic people places and things out, if that makes sense. Scared if you slept with the wrong person, you'll lose your gift. I just feel like you might feel like if you leave your karmics, and it has nothing to do with gift. Even though I channeled that. I feel like if you feel like you lose your car karmics, because you can still have some codependency, you know, will Betty live up to what you want? Will, you know, things work out? Da, 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 da. But what Fred forgets is Fred is not perfect. Fred, ha Fred had a journey and he can't expect Betty to be perfect when you, I mean, you could be Fred, right? You had to go on your journey and you had to learn and you, you both are going to empower, right? And support each other, right? Because a, a, a healing is a progression. It's a lifelong progression. I tweet that all the time, right? Yeah. Anything else? Let's go to the last one. You're either really great lover in bread or you never had great sex. You could have been drawn to one. You aim to please, good kisser, love kissing parts of your body. Neglect. Look at that. You could 
um be horny high sex drive not overly interested in your partner no more and have side pieces and frequent porn sites hookup apps cheating betrayal infidelity emotional cheater yeah you could you not like the people on your job you could want a new job or new career change you, unique adventure love travel what does that say to me it just says that you want a whole new you want a life with betty now right maybe you haven't met betty maybe you met betty online right no contacts maybe some sincere apology something right but i do feel like there's a flame burning there's a passion ignited maybe you want to have sex you don't you're fishing you don't know if betty is a good kisser good in bed before you let your karmas go i'm just channeling all that type of stuff but i do feel like although fred might still sleep with wilma being you you know still sleep with your partner i think i feel like it's not you're not you're you're not you left the building right you might live with this person you might you know do activities and stuff with this person but I, I do feel like you you know you left the building now i could be wrong y'all gonna let me know i'm not gonna let you know that yeah so this is like a twin flame pal um and this is like a i picked somebody else over you or i've already had somebody when you came in my life or when you're coming back in my life and i need to make some decisions because i'm at the crossroad now and i really know what i want to do but at the end of the day i just got to go ahead and do it i got to walk into my true divine destiny get rid of toxic people places and things and karmics and no longer serve me and and get with my um counterpart my divine counterpart which happened to be betty i would have never looked at betty this is symbolism, right? Um, but at the end of the day, Betty is uh, is on that high vibrational frequency. And I'm so drawn to Betty. And Betty is so drawn to Fred, you know. Okay. So, and I feel like Fred dealt with a lot of his ego. And I felt like Betty dealt with a lot of hurt and brokenness, right? And so they kind of balance each other. All right. Thanks, y'all.